Welcome to this week's episode of Time to Go. Yeah, this week it's Stewardship Week at Dingy. Getting excited for Sunday, Stewardship Sunday. I'm sure you're not the only one. Everyone is always excited about stewardship. I know one pastor who is, he was leaving worship one Sunday, was met by this little boy, and the little boy told the pastor, you know, when I grow up, I'm gonna give you a lot of money. And the pastor said, thanks, that sounds great, but can I ask you why? And the little boy said, well, because my daddy always says you're one of the poorest preachers he's ever seen. You know, that reminds me of another story of this man who, you know, everyone says you can't take it with you. Well, he decided he was going to take it with him. And so weeks before he died, he had his kids bring all of his prized possessions up to the attic so that he could take it up to heaven with him when he died. Well, a couple of weeks later, he did die and they had the funeral. And at the funeral service, one of the kids said to their mom, you know, mom, do you think he was able to take it with him? And so she said, I don't know, let's go see. So they go back to their house, up to the attic, and sure enough, everything's still there. And the widow turns to her son and says, hmm, perhaps we should have put it all in the basement. You know, uh, we like to think that everything we have, we've er worked really hard to earn, but we as Christians believe that God gives us everything we have, and we just get to use it on God's behalf. We're here in Vinji's sanctuary today as a reminder of the ways that God has blessed this church. Years ago, people built this sanctuary uh, with the knowledge that they had a God who had blessed them, and this was their ode to God, uh, to build a beautiful sanctuary where they could worship God. Kind of reminds me of someone else who built a house for God many years ago, right, Justin? That's right. Our text this week is about King David. And uh, it's this great story that kind of turns in the middle of the story. It starts out with David uh, building a house for God. And, and God basically says to the king, who are you uh, that you would build a house for me? Why do I need a house? I am moving amongst the people. I am out among all of my people, not just stuck in one uh, particular place. And then the beautiful turn that happens in the middle of the story is that God actually then says to David, actually, I'm going to build you a house. I'm going to build you a house, a great kingdom filled with ancestors. I'm going to give you everything. Everything that you have is going to be a gift for me. Uh, and so David begins to understand that relationship in kind of a new way. Yeah, it's a good reminder that for us, the church is not a building, but uh, people that get to go and share the good news of what God has done for us. Uh, my favorite line of this story is the ending line where David recognizes what God has done for him. He says, who am I, O Lord, and what is my house that you have brought me safe thus far? It's a recognition of how God has blessed us all along the way through all our ups and downs and God will continue to bless us for years to come. And all we get to do is give thanks and praise to God in what we do with what is God's. It's a great ending for today, and we hope that as you're going about your week today that you know that God is with you and not here uh, only on Sunday in this place, but moving about your life and that you recognize all the gifts that you have come from God. But for now, it's time to go. I guess so. See you next week.